Hey everybody, welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Now let's go see Steve. Johnny, I thought we'd do a Joan Crawford Western. Ooh, you thought there was a contradiction in terms, didn't you? Like Life from Utica. Anyway, this is directed by Nicholas Ray and it's called Johnny Guitar from 1954. It stars Joan Crawford, Sterling Hayden, Scott Brady, Mercedes McCambridge, Ben Cooper, Ward Bond, and John Carradine. Now, Joan had seen this and she bought this property and she took it to Republic Pictures and she said, I want to do it as a vehicle for myself. She was hoping to get Claire Trevor to star with it, but that didn't happen. So she got Mercedes McCambridge kind of fresh off her Oscar win for All the King's Men. This was a troubled shoot from the word go. Basically, the plot is Joan plays Vienna. She owns this saloon. She's waiting for the railroad to come in. She know, she's got a tip that the railroad is going to come through where she lives. How could you possibly know that the railroad was coming this way? Some time ago, I ran into your surveyor and we exchanged confidences. The local people have got in arms about her and they've decided to throw her out, that she's a, a wronged woman and get her out of the area. Especially Emma Small, played by Mercedes McCambridge, who hates her. There's a real, real quasi gay lesbian thing going on feel between this movie. It's, it's an undercurrent that runs through this whole movie. They both cast the same shadow. Emma's brother was infatuated with Joan, and Emma's brother is killed when somebody robs the stage, so Emma's in a vendetta to get Joan. Someone holds up the stagecoach, your brother is killed, and all you can think about is hanging the dancing kid. And at the same time, Joan's ex-lover comes into town, Johnny Guitar. That's no name. Anybody care to change it? He is a gunslinger, but nobody knows it. He says he's just come in to play guitar. They had a bad party, so she hasn't seen him in a long time, and of course she's still in love with him and they strike up sparks, but she needs him to kind of defend her from all this posse that comes in. I'm passing a law against gambling and drinking any place outside the town limits. That law goes into effect in 24 hours, that's all. Now, the other person who's after her at the same time is the dancing kid, played by Scott Brady. That's the name, friend. Care to change it? the head of this gang that everybody thinks is doing all the robberies around. And there's a young guy named Turkey, played by Ben Cooper, who's a member of this gang. I'm staying with you. If you look after me, who's going to look after you? And so Joan has the dancing kid, and she has Johnny Guitar, both in love with her and this other guy, and all the men want her, and there's all this sexual tension just rife through this. And basically, it, it leads up to, to robberies and gunfights and this showdown between Emma and Vienna. It's very exciting. The first time that they met, Mercedes walked over to the dressing room to meet Joan Crawford, who was getting made up in costumes. And Joan had these cowboy boots on. And Mercedes walked over and said, how do you do, Miss Crawford? I'm Mercedes McCambridge. And Joan picked her foot up and put it on Mercedes' stomach like this and said, aren't they beautiful? Do you know they said I had the smallest little feet at Metro? That was what she said to her. Mercedes said, I didn't know what I was supposed to make of that. I've got a foot on my stomach. I didn't know what to make of this. She said, after that, Joan was very cool to me, she said. And the dialogue showed. They would say things like, uh, Mercedes come, makes a great entrance with the group. With, you know, and She comes in with a posse. She looks up at Joan Crawford and she says, I'm going to kill you. I know. If I don't kill you first. You want the dancing kid. Isn't that the way it is? Oh, sure. He was always attracted to me. He always tried to get my attention. But oh, no. I wouldn't see him. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't cross the street for him. You know, that Joan goes, that's not the real reason, is it, Emma? You know, you've always got this underlying thing going on, you know. It was also, this movie was done during the McCarthy period. And it was sort of like a dig at the posse and the whole idea of the gang and hauling people out, you know. You're nothing but a railroad tramp. You don't deserve to live with decent people. Bring in thousands of new people from the East. Farmers, dirt farmers, squatters. They'll push us out. 
So it's got that tension all the way through. Joan was so incensed and so jealous that the crew was applauding Mercedes because she was she was such a good horsewoman. She was such a good rider that Nicholas Ray saw in a drunken stupor saw Joan take Mercedes costumes out into the highway, tear them to shreds and let the trucks run over them. So it was really a brutally bad shoot. Sterling Hayden hated Joan so much in this movie. He thought she was completely unprofessional and Joan was into her cups because things were not going her way. This was kind of during the Mommy Dearest phase that Christina wrote about and was so uncomfortable for Nick Ray. He said that on the way to the, to the set every morning, he would pull the car over, open up the door and throw up and then have to shut and go back to the set because the tension was so bad and the fights were so bad. But the results were terrific. When it came out, it bombed. But over the years, it has become a big cult film. And one of the big champions of Johnny Guitar is Martin Scorsese, who just loves this movie. And the French critics loved this movie and said it turned the whole genre of the Westerns on their ear. Mercedes does this thing that is just amazing. She's, there's a scene when she sets the saloon on fire after they're going to lynch Joan. They come in and grab Joan and say, go, take her down! Hang her! Hurry up! Hang her! All right, Emma. So they take her down and they tie her up and she's Mercedes walks in with a rifle and she shoots down the chandelier and it catches the whole saloon on fire. And there's a shot outside and you see Mercedes come out, come down the stairs and come across with her back to the camera and hit her mark and turn. And she's just wild with those flames in back of her. And it's such an amazing thing. I don't know how she did it. She was an incredible actress. She was a hard woman to cast. But whenever they put her in, she was great. She's great as Rock Hudson's sister in Giant. Got another Oscar nomination. She's terrific as Elizabeth Taylor's mother in Suddenly Last Summer. Oh, Kathy, Kathy, they're going to tear your brain out. They're going to do a friend of but I can't talk about it. <laughs> she, she's just hysterical. And, of course, she, her, she was famous as the voice of the demon in The Exorcist. And there was that whole controversy because he had the nerve. <laughs> Friedkin had the nerve to think that he couldn't put her name on the screen credits. No credit at all. Everybody else connected with the silly production got all kinds of credit. I didn't, and I was promised. They showed it to me. She fought him, by God, and she got her name on the voice and vocal talents of Mercedes McCambridge, because she went through hell. You killed your mother! Your servant! You left her alone! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Bastard! Sterling Hayden survived acting with all of those tough leading ladies. He was with Betty Davis in The Star. He was with Barbara Stanwyck in Crime of Passion. He acted opposite all of them. But he would appear in movies like Stanley Kubrick in Dr. Strangelove. He did this great role in Dr. Strangelove later on. And he's in The Godfather. He was the police chief that gets that Al Pacino kills in the restaurant in The Godfather. He was great. He was a great actor. Joan was tough. Joan changed her image six different times during her career. First, she was the, the Charleston dancer. Then she was the shop girl. Then she was the career woman. Then she was the woman in peril. You know, the people were trying to kill all the time. And she just kept going. She figured out how to do it. She was tough. She was resilient. And you can't stop watching her. She's so good. Come and get me, Mr. McIvers. We don't want no shooting, Vienna. I'm not coming peaceably, Marshal. I love a good, I love a good girl Western. I love that. It's like Westward the Women. I love a Western that's got a lot of girl power in it. And boy, does this have it in spades. You're going to have such a good time. On the range with Joan Crawford, Mercedes McCambridge, Sterling Hayden, Scott Brady, Ben Cooper, John Carradine, and Ward Bond in Nicholas Ray's Johnny Guitar. Let's all go to the lobby. I know, Steve, I was in the musical. <laughs> and Johnny Bixler. To get ourselves a treat.